It's no secret that New Zealand is spying on its Pacific neighbours. Investigative journalist Nikki Haga says intercepted communications from countries such as Fiji, Samoa, Tonga and Vanuatu are captured on a large scale by the GCSB and passed on to America's National Security Agency. In an extended interview with journalist Selwyn Manning, Mr Haga says New Zealand's position is arrogant. Whether whether arrogant don't care about them, we claim to care, profess to be great buddies and actually just be prepared to to sell them down the river because we um, we can get some benefit in watching there. It's so small countries, it's the ones where we don't have a good excuse and we are just selling them out where I think it's particularly bad. A decision that Haga says will prove bad for future relations with Pacific governments. For example, if I was if I was a leader in Tonga, I would be I would be incensed because Tonga doesn't spy on New Zealand. Tonga doesn't spy on the United States. New Zealand has no special reason. And on a community level, Dr. Stephen Rituva says people need to be wary. So the question of ethics, the question of morality, the question of uh, privacy is significant. You see all women selling taro, cassava, or vegetables in the market in Port Vila, in Samoa, in Tonga, in Fiji, Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea, and they have mobile phones. So it's something which uh, gives them a sense of being part of the modern world, part of globalization. I think what has come out in, in the last week, the revelation about spying and uh, the debate which will continue, uh, will probably sensitize people into realizing that every time they pick up a mobile phone to speak, they're being uh, listened to. Journalist Sawan Manning says it's worse for those Pacific living in New Zealand. It's worse, I think, for the Pacific community who live in New Zealand because the engagement with their friends, family and, and networks back in the islands is, is, is a way of life. And to know that their communications with their friends, family and loved ones and networks has been taken left, right and centre and packaged data-wise and, and sent back to the United States for analysis is a frightening prospect. And the image of New Zealand being a friendly neighbour is undermined. It seems that New Zealand has wandered off track a long way from when in the 1980s under David Longy's government, for example, New sure. Zealand was able to be seen on a world stage as an independent Pacific Island state. But how far New Zealand's involvement goes is still yet to be discovered. There isn't a spot on the globe that is not actually being trawled for its data. If New Zealand is spying on its Pacific Island na- nations to fill that spot on the globe so that the United States have got that intelligence there, the question for New Zealanders is, who's doing it to New Zealanders? And, and there's no answer to that yet.